You are now tuned in to Hot Topics with Donna. And on this show, we do one thing. Keep it real hot. That's honest, open, and transparent. If you didn't know, now you know. So sit back and unwind as we bring the vibe and a little bit of glorious sunshine to your heart, soul, and mind. Your lovely host, Hot Donna, will be with you in just a few moments. But while you wait, go ahead and set an atmosphere of peace in your space. If you can, cut the lights down low, get your hydration on, vibration zone, cause tonight you're about to receive some delicious food for your soul. Thank you for tuning in to Hot Topics with Donna. I am your host, Donna Taylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate everybody um, just tuning in week after week. I have been under the weather, but nevertheless, I am still here. I'm excited about this interview that I am going to have with another young entrepreneur, amongst other things that he's doing in his life. Um, let me just tell you, here's the book, um, An Imperfect Marriage Saved by Grace. So it, you can find it on Amazon. Um, yes, and if you buy it, please give a review. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, starting tomorrow or Thursday, I am going to be giving away one book and some more prizes for Christmas. Um, the shipping will be free. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And so I'm going to go ahead and give you the word. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Kenny. Thank you guys for joining. I'm going to give you the word that I have for my guest, not only for him, but for me, for you. And the word is confidence. And it says, the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. And that comes from Proverbs 3 and 16. And it says, it is so amazing to think that there's only one one of you in the entire world with the only one that has your laugh, your face, your quirk, your quirks, and your specific talents. And this is truly a gift because why would we want to see somebody that looks like us, talk like us? And that's what I chose for my guest today. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring him on. Um, hey, Amanda, I'm going to go ahead and bring him on and we're going to get started. So just hold on for a minute. Okay, so I've already sent him the invite, so I'm just going to wait for him to join, and we're going to get started. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Like I said, I have been under the weather, but nevertheless, I am here getting back to my normal self, and all right, so I'm just going to add him. Um, thank, you, thank you, thank you. If this is your first time, thank you for tuning in. 
I hope you guys are ready for Christmas. I am. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? I can. So um, let's go ahead and tell people who you are and where you reside, and then we're going to get started. Okay. Um, my name is Kaden Call, and I live in Lynchburg, Virginia. Okay, Kaden. And so the word that I chose for you today, because anytime I have a guest, the word that pops in my spirit for that person, and the word that popped in my spirit for you was confident. So can you um, tell us, have you always had confidence? Did you lack confidence? And if so, just kind of like give us a um, little idea about your confidence. Um, I struggled with confidence a lot like, growing up and, and like never felt like good enough or never thought popular or cool. and it like took a lot of myself like mm -hmm. my like my like, hope and like, my inner beauty and stuff and just tell me that I didn't have to look like it, that I was my own person and mm -hmm. modern me get out there because I've been able to express myself in a way I haven't been able to to before and it's boosted my confidence tremendously. And how, how is your mic? Is your phone setting up straight? Yeah, it's setting up. Okay, yeah, so we can um, hear you. And so when when you lack confidence, did you decide at this point, like, how can I build my self-confidence? And if so, was modeling the first thing you decided to do to help build your confidence? My first step was trying to not let people bother and just trying to just like knock out first and then just stepping out of my comfort with like things I wore, like things I did. And then, um, then I got into modeling. And so when you started modeling, because I first saw you modeling on the runway October 22nd. That's when I first saw you um, because I was a judge at the um, the ladies um, of VA um, pageant. And I was like, wow, he is really, really good. So was that your first time on the runway? That was uh, my first was uh, another ladies of pageant back in may I, mm -hmm. and uh i was in the kids back portion and that was my first first time i definitely tried to step out of my i wore a um white crop top right and so like even in this fashion show that we just had you came out and you had on the glittery you know Brought and so how did that make you feel because you know like I most guys are like nope I'm not doing that but how did you feel as a person as a model just being a young man mm -hmm. um so when the designer reached out to all of us models and she kind of mm -hmm. needed somebody to model it um I made a, a joke about it. I was like I can model it and she, she took it like you know what I'm so cool and then um so i tried it on at first i was like not really sure how i felt about it mm -hmm. because it was just something different then i told myself i was ever and i was like, get out there and i'm glad and that's exactly what I'm and you you rocked it i must say you rocked it and i know you said that miss patty she um she really inspires you. Mm -hmm. Patty and Jackie, they heard me the most get into modeling. And Patty constantly a booster um, for me when it comes to the uh, modeling. And um, same with my mom. My mom me like so much. Yeah. And I, if it wasn't for Jackie, I couldn't have gotten it. Wow. And so you, a young entrepreneur, are you still in high school? Yes, I'm in 10th grade. Oh, wow. I was thinking like you was like a senior or something. But you have your own cosmetic line called KC Cosmetic. And you birthed it July 19th. Mm -hmm. 
And so how did that come about? Um, Casey Cosmetics was kind of a small little thing that my aunt started um, mm -hmm. during COVID. And um, it started off in, like Nick and just kind of like uh, my aunt was getting into psychology and stuff. So we kind of started it together. But then because the KC, Caden and Cassie mm -hmm. for Caden Collins Cosmetics. Wow. As my aunt kind of moved to California, and um, after that, I kind of lost hope on it. And my mm. mom died, I needed to, to try. And so then I um, started back up on it, and to try with something different. So mm -hmm. I, I have lash chapsticks, and also have like stickers and um, other things that go along with the theme. Right. Can you kind of put your phone, because you, we can hear you, but you're going in and out, and I want to make sure people hear exactly what you're saying. I could try to hold it up. Let's see. It might be my survey. No, you, I can hear you good, but you go in and out, you know, but I want to make sure that people are really hearing you clearly. Hey, Kim. Hey, Crystal. So, so even though you and your aunt started this, and then once she, um, she said, Kaden, maybe hold your phone. Okay. I'm holding it up now. Okay, because we want to make sure we really hear you. So once you and your aunt started this, and then she decided to move, and now here you are like, what do I do? Do I keep going? Because, like, I thought it was truly Kaden Collins. And so here you are. You, you kept going. And your mom encouraged you to um, do it. If she wouldn't have encouraged you, would you stop would you would have been like, nope, I'm done. I'm not going to do this. I probably would. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, um, um, Washita, Rashika. We got some people. You got some fans on here. And so do you have a website that people can purchase products? Or are you still in the work of adding more products? Um, I do have a website. I'm trying to uh, rebuild it. And it set up with my new product um but mostly i just do like the vendor stuff and so and then i found out that you also are a photographer i saw some of your pictures and they were lovely and so how did that come about um well i got graphic designing and making flyers and like that and just editing in general and then um a few years ago um a family member of mine he was in a um photography and stuff helped him mm -hmm. with and then i just started taking photos myself and um then i watched youtube videos uh, learned how to edit and then mm -hmm. just over the years better and um figured out ways to edit stuff and so when are you going to bring your talent to the fashion show um, side and get out there and start taking pictures? Um, well, mostly I just do modeling the vendor mm -hmm. a lot as it is. Um, I never really thought about bringing the photography into the fashion world. Wow. Well, maybe maybe there's something you can think about. And so <clears throat> we did this fashion show. Um, he, he, heels to um to heels to no heels and so they have a contest um Jonice, and um you won the poster board for this year and um did you know you wanted to be a part of this poster board because it's the the whole logistic of the poster board is what you've been healed from and um did you know you was going to do one or did you have reservations about doing it at first i was like this is pretty cool and i was like i think i'll do it and then it was like as i was thinking about what i wanted to do i wasn't sure if i wanted to get people and, and kind of express myself like that and just like open myself up but mm -hmm. my mom that it's a, a great opportunity that she thinks i really good and i procrastinated on the poster for a while and i ended up doing two nights before the fashion show. And to be honest, I walked in the fashion show not 
and I was going to win. I didn't right. think there was as good as other people's. Mm -hmm. I think that, that my stuff was like, worse than other people's. And like when I won, I was, was like complete. And but, but your poster board was what you felt. And I feel that's why you won. And you had, you, it says worthless, um, dumb, fag, hater, gay, slow, basic. And were these some of the things that you had endured um, in your life or do you still endure them? Or was this past, past hurt, past words? Most of those were are past called and stuff, but a few I still do get to this day. And so now that you are in this space, how do you handle that? When I was first getting things, I didn't take it easily, and mm -hmm. it made me really depressed. Mm -hmm. I hate myself, and but now I've. Um, that I've been able to push it away and just not care what people think about me. Absolutely, absolutely. When I get called things like that, like ignore, push it to the side. Yeah, yeah. And so how do you handle not allowing yourself to get into a depression? I try to um, focus on like my physical health, if my mental health is now. Do like showers and skincare, or like just like personal care for myself. And I also uh, take medicine. Mm -hmm. so. And so, but when you feel, or should I say, can you feel when you when you are getting into a depressed stage? Are you able to talk to your mom, or do you have a support system? Because a lot of times, you know, you've seen on, um, you know in recent news with you know people just not being able to handle it and so it's good that you have someone that you can talk to but how do you say i can't allow myself to get into this depressed state i my biggest thing that i go to like try to get myself from going is my mom mm -hmm. i vent to her a lot like i think my mom and sometimes if I don't feel like talking, or I can't right there. I, I will talk to my friend. Um, my friends, are bigger supporters in my life, they know. Absolutely. And sometimes I feel like they're more family than somebody is. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I was doing an interview um, and I was just talking about, you know, and I know you probably remember because I know I do, you know, how that old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but word was never hurt me. And, you know, and I told people that's a lie because it does. It stick with us whether you're, you know, in high school or whether you become an adult, because once people start saying these things to you, they start festering inside of us and we start to believe that's who we are. You know, and that's why, you know, it's so important that we teach our young people that sticks and stones may break our bones, but words do hurt. Words cut, you know, and they cut deep and you can't change that. And so how do you, you know, handle that with your friends and encourage your friends to be mindful of what they say to other people? When I see people like being mean or like saying things, about people, I do point it out that like I make somebody mm -hmm. with themselves, or and, like you don't know how, like what effect they're and stuff. Because for me, if I knew that I was the reason that cried or um, harmed themselves, like I would, know if I knew that I was that. absolutely, absolutely, and so. Um, where do you um, see yourself with your cosmetic line? Do you want it to grow? Do you have a team? Or is it just you right now just still kind of rebuilding, you know, your foundation? Um, right now with Fix, um, it's pretty much just me. Um, when I, I do the vendor, 
at the time I'm a model. Mm-hmm. I know he was the heel fat sister watched my vendor for me. Mm-hmm. At Virginia pageant. I had my for me. But for the most part me and um I'm trying to like rebuild it but it's kinda hard um, being just like a team do your own line and stuff. You can do it. You 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 got this. You you got it. I I don't see Casey Cosmetics becoming really big, um, but I know I'm getting into like fashion design stuff and mm-hmm. uh, with all the modeling stuff and be able to, to be a designer and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Crystal says she's like my baby is so strong and I'm with him one million percent. I will continue to push you, and that's awesome. And I was just gonna tell you, don't ever um, your your cosmetic line, KC cosmetic line, can be big. You can have anything that you put your mind to, whether it's to continue growing your line, being a designer. You don't have to stop and say, oh, well, I just want to be a designer. If you know that Casey um, Cosmetic Line is something that you want to do, you can have both. You can build both. You know, we have to start from the bottom and build our way up because we don't get there overnight. I mean, just like me, I'm an emerging designer and I do my podcast. Everything takes time. And when you work for it and when you really put forth the effort, then God would send people that's going to support you, push you like Miss Crystal, and you can have both. Uh, Miss Amanda said he most definitely can do it. It takes time. And he has me and many others to push him and support him. Absolutely. And that's why I don't ever say you don't see it um, being big because it is can be bigger than what you can see. And I always tell people, if you can see it, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. It's just it's just about getting everything in line. And I know with you and your support system, you can do that. You can do both. And that don't ever limit yourself. And a lot of times we as an adult, we have allowed people to talk us out of what we could have been doing at a young age so the sky's the limit for you You, you're smart you quick i mean because like some of us older people that's trying to venture out we have to work it's work and even with you it's going to be work but it's going to be worth it because hey you still can do this and you have great support and don't ever knock what you're trying to do just say you know what i want to build you can start a little bit and just do your plan because at the end of the day, only you can see your dream through. No, nobody else. People can support you, but you have to see it, believe it, and achieve it for you. And then God will send those people because you never know that you may be the person that your peers are looking at. And they're saying, if Caden can do this, by God, I can do whatever they have inside. And so how do your friends see you like, and they know that you model and all this. So how is that? My, my friends look at me like, um, like this great person they think that I'm going in places in my life. And oh, yeah. like I've inspired my other friends every get into modeling model at the fashion show mm-hmm. um i inspired him to, it took me a lot of work with him because he really wanted to do it but he was just shy and he didn't mm-hmm. have it and but he actually did really good for him first and i've also inspired my friends maya to um get into it but um trying to work on like timing she's like really busy and just her mom's but and at work think it's cool and they tell me that like um i need to like go with it kind of and like do modeling full time right so have you thought about doing modeling full time i have but i think i really want to keep modeling like on the side and like i still want to do Time. Absolutely, absolutely. I want to um, get into. I kind of want to see how stuff go, goes. Mm-hmm. But I really, really, my job is being like real estate. 
and business. Oh, cool. yes. So, so um, but I also volunteer at the hospital, and I am getting in, working up to get out of college to study mm -hmm. the field that I want. And so, so, what do you do at the hospital? At the hospital, and guest services. So I'm on the phones, on the computers, and I help people like get to where they fit. And then amazing patients and take them like um to members. Or sometimes I did, and and I like get out of the rooms and then get take them out to their cars and stuff like that. Um, and then sometimes I'm going to and picking up some surgeries and other things like that and so when you're doing this volunteering in the hospital do that give you a different sense of how valuable life is because you know like i know a lot of teenagers be like nah mm -mm, i don't want to do that i don't want to help people that's sick but do that give you a different um perspective on how people's families are sick and hurting and what joy do it bring you to be helping others for me, I'm a person that put other people first before myself. So the medical field, like when I'm helping, like the biggest joy is in pediatrics. Mm -hmm. and I'm helping, we bring them stuffed animals. And just to see the joy on kids' faces, um, it's so uplifting. Like because I get pushing every day. Trying to, and the little thing do like giving us stuff to so, and some people just realize how like me somebody that's that's amazing and i seen your work i was like wow i see your flyers they are amazing and so are you going to be in the fashion show in february as well yes so are you excited are you going to try to bring one of your friends you're going to try to bring your friend to come um i really i think my friends are watch me when talking about, about it but I'm really excited for that show and handing out like um, outfits right and so, so what is one thing that you would like to tell miss patty because i i thought it was very touching when you had the picture of you and her um together um she is very very i met her um at a show um in virginia as well and her spirit is always amazing um she lights up the room. She's always the same. And I can see why she inspires you. So what would you like to say to her? I would like to tell Patty that um, I love her and it's been the biggest supporter for her when it comes to modeling, like my confidence. And just, I need her to know to like never like keep going because mm -hmm. she, and, and she should not like stop being because Patty is amazing. Yeah, she, she is amazing. And what would you say to your peers that want to start a business, want to start getting into the modeling world? What would you tell them um, how to start or even just encouraging them? Depending on what it is, I could help them on tips on how to start it. But I would tell them that if they put their mind to it, they're determined that they can get where and is they just have to stick with it and put time in it. And how do you um how will you continue to keep encouraging yourself and not allowing the negativity um get you down to keep you away from being depressed? I am going to just continue to tell myself that stuff and that need like other people and tell me like that I am I can do things and to keep pushing and building my bit and my photography mm -hmm. and one thing I do want to say to you um, I love your spirit and I told your mom this I love your spirit but one thing that I'm gonna tell you because I have young men as well you when you love you no one is going to love you better than you love you besides your parent and your support system and you can't go 
you know, fighting battles that is not yours because, you know, people, people have entitled to say what they feel about you, but you also entitled to say, you know what, these are, how, this is your truth, but this is not my truth. And you have to stay focused on what you want to do, what God has called you to do, because when you take your eyes off where he wants to take you, that's when all the negativities can start affecting us. And I, I pray that this year you would say, I am walking into a new season in my life. Caden is about Caden's business. I'm about my photography. I'm about my cosmetic. I'm about modeling. I'm about my design. And those are the only things that you should be worried about outside of doing what, you know, your parents want you to do. Because at the end of the day, you don't owe anybody else any explanation about where you're trying to go with you. Mm -hmm. And you have to stay focused. Stay focused on what you want to do in life and never allow people to dictate you. Yeah. Because I don't want you to go into 2023 being depressed because of something someone said about you, that you can't do this, you're not this, you're not that. And I'm telling you that you're worthy, you're amazing, you got this. And that's, and that's the, at the end of the day, if you have to tell yourself that over and over again, that I'm amazing, because you're here for design purpose. And I want you to stay happy, healthy, and whole. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that because you have stuff to do. You have stuff to do. So when you feel yourself getting depressed, be like, nope, can't do it today. I don't have space for you. Caden is gonna stay healthy. Caden is gonna follow his dreams and do what he is set out to do. And I know with your support system, I know you're gonna get there. I know you're gonna get there. And I'm so um, just proud of who you are. I had the chance to interview your mom. I know she is a great support for you. I'm Crystal and everybody in Virginia. And I'm just thankful that, you know, I have another young entrepreneur on my show. I love it when I get young people on my show that's doing amazing things. And so, hey, you keep going. Anything that I can help you with, push, you know, you, I'm here, but keep being great. Keep, keep being amazing. Keep, you just have a humble spirit on you from the day I met you and interviewed you. You just have a humble spirit. Thank you. And so tell, tell us about your Christmas plan. So what are your plans for Christmas? My plans for Christmas is um, I'm going to be spending Eve with my mom. And, mm -hmm. and we're gonna uh, celebrate Christmas. And then me and my sister going to our dad. Mm -hmm. um, gonna wake up Christmas um, at our dad's house. And then for me, me dad's house, I'm gonna wake up and um, like open presents and stuff and probably do breakfast. And we're gonna go um, to Danville and uh, foolers and ATVs. Oh, and wow. Well, be safe. Um, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for taking the time out to come on um, Hot Topics with Donna. And see, it was easy. You got on. It was easy. Um, Diamond, thank you for joining. Uh, Mr. Dion, thank you for joining. And um, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And if God's willing, we'll see each other in February because um, I'll be doing the show in February as well. Um, tell your mom I said hi, and you just stay encouraged. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Stay encouraged. And the only thing, when we go, um, when we're done, you just um, exit yourself off. That's all you do. But thank you, um, Kaden. Good luck with everything that you're doing. God has bigger things for you. So stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Thank you. Bye. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Um, Caden, such a sweet um, young man. The sky's the limit for him. Guys, we have to continue to push our young people, continue to pour into them, continue 
to show them that they have a support system, just like you see how Caden um, support system is on here tonight, just continue to push him. And we never know how we play a vital role in young people's life because they, they look for us, they look for guidance, they look for us to say, hey, you're doing amazing. Check on our young people, love our young people. We have so many young people that are struggling with different things. And just like Caden, he said he sometimes he get depressed. Guys, we have to do better when it comes to our young people. We have to reach them. We have to make sure we're checking on them so they won't fall through the crack. We can't afford to let our young people fall through the crack in any means. Check on your young people, whether they're your nieces, your nephews, even your own children, your grandchildren, check on them. We're not going to always get it right, but at least we can let them know that we're here. I pray that you guys have an amazing night. Like I said, starting tomorrow and the rest of the week, because I have two more interviews um, this week. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I've been under the weather. I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. I will come back um, tomorrow or Thursday or when I do my live, I will be giving away one one of my books, An Imperfect Magazine, Saved by Grace. So I will be asking questions. So you never know what I'm going to ask you. It's going to be questions that you should know about me and different things since I've been starting um, doing Hot Topics with Donna. I may ask you what does hot stands for. And I may ask you who created my theme um, intro music, but I will be raffling off four different gifts for um, the holiday spirit. I will send them um, myself. So I am so thankful for that. So I, all you have to do is inbox me. If you win, I will just send it to you and I will autograph your book. Um, oh, thank you, Mr. Miss Amanda. Your son is truly, truly amazing. And like I said, we have to make sure we shine the spotlight on our children because, you know, when we shine the spotlight on them, they can excel to higher heights. But we have to do better. We have to do better as an adult to make sure that we know which direction that they're going in when they start changing, when their behaviors start changing, when they're getting quiet. We need to find out why are they quiet? What's going on? We can't get Get too busy with our adult life that we um, lose sight of what our children may be going through. Guys, I love you. Be good to yourself and remember, check on your people, whether they're young, old, check on them, guys. Depression is real. Depression is real. It's so real. And everybody's been seeing in the news what happened to the young um, DJ. But one thing I am going to say about this some people may say, oh, de depression is, you know, people just get over it. No. When depression hits your home and you lose someone to depression, then you, you have a different tone, if you will. But depression is real. People are suffering silently because I always tell people I can make this look however I want to. I can put a smile on my face. I can do all these things and be hurting and dying on the inside. But because you looking at the outer, you just assume I have it all together. And we have to stop assuming that people have it together because we dress up, we put on suits and tie, dress, and we dress to the nines or whatever the case may be. People are hurting. People are hurting and they want people to notice them. But when we notice people, and if you're in tune with the spirit, then the spirit will let you know something is not right. When you see people and you know that they used to be this way and now they're that way, you need to be checking. You don't need to just assume, well, maybe they're going through something. Well, you don't need to assume. All you have to do is say, hey, I notice, you know, you're not yourself. Is everything okay? And just by you reaching out, they can tell you, yes, I'm okay, or no, I'm not. People need to know that we care about them and not look for anything in return. We have to stop being so selfish and self-centered and thinking that it's all about us. But at the end of the day, it's about making sure that the people around us are happy, healthy, and safe.
that's mentally and physically. We can love ourselves, but we need to love people too. But when we start being so selfish and always thinking about me, 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 what can I do for me? I want more, I want more, I want more. And then there's people out there saying, I just want somebody to see me. I want somebody to love me. I'm hurting, but nobody sees me. I'm crying on the inside, but nobody hears me. Because when we get so caught up in self, we don't have time to see anybody else. That's why we need to be well-rounded. It's okay to be great. It's okay to have these things going on in your life and you're growing and you're prospering. But at the same time, it's not okay when you get so involved in just what you're doing and you don't care about other people. So let's do better. Let's do better. So starting tomorrow until Friday, I will be gifting four gifts. So I hope you guys get the questions because I already gave you some hints. So it will be, um, I will be asking like, where am I from? What does hot stands for? Who um, did the intro music? And so like, I will be giving you hints. Um, so you just have to remember what it stands for. Like, I'll give you some, some hints. I may even do like a post and say, oh yeah, HOT stands for this, this, and this, or my song was created by this. So you just need to watch when I post and we'll, um, we're gonna have some fun. And I may do some, um, pick a number uh, um, for the gifts, but I am going to give four gifts and one will be my book and the other is going to be some more cool stuff. So guys, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in week after week with Hot Topics with Donna. Um, like I said, I've been under the weather, but I'm finally coming back to myself. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always tuning in. Crystal, thank you for always tuning in. Um, just sharing my video, just sharing my flyers. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am your host Donna here on Hot Topics with Donna, where we interview ordinary people doing extraordinary things in their lives and in their communities. Good night. I love you guys. I pray that you have a good night. Be careful um, and just enjoy life. Bye.